All right, we're back. We're here at the highest World Cup start of the season here in Andorra. 2,364 metres elevation, and uh, we're going to kick things off with the fourth round of the World Cup. With the track walk, this is Win TV. Let's go! Just on the track walk, and uh, just checking my whoop heart rate, I'm at um, two beats per minute. It's qu quite a workout, this track walk. All right, Max Hutton Stern uh, here in back in Andorra. What do you reckon? Well, it's dusty. It's dusty. Uh, moon dust, back in the moon dust. But yeah. been training in Schladming, and yeah. uh, it looked the same. So I'm ready for it. And training with Andy Kolb, so uh, building the speed. Yeah, I think so. Um, <clears throat> I was riding a couple of days with him, and uh, he showed me some speed, and I got scared a couple of times. So uh, <laughs> yeah, now I'm feeling good, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to get racing again. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. You Cheers, too. Mate. Cheers, mate. All right, uh, Daniel, back in Andorra, what do you reckon? Yeah, it looks good so far, just the same as last year right now, so yep. see how uh, it holds up. I'm putting a lot of water down, but I think it's just uh, not done much. drinking it. Yeah, yeah. You'd need uh, yeah 90% of the male field to have a piss on it before it would start to drink? I think 100%. 100%? Yeah, everyone. Right. Everyone. Maybe a few females as well? Maybe less if you do too. If I did two? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll do two then. <laughs> All right. And uh, you, we're missing your man Gaston Flat this week. Yeah, shame. The silly point system that this yeah. new organisation I've got going uh, has, ruled him, get has, has ruled him out of action this week, but hopefully he'll be back and uh, he's, there in, he's in our hearts. Any, any uh, things you can change up? The speed. The speed? Yeah. All right. How do you change that from uh, race to race? Just use the brakes less and try and carry more speed. Yeah, we've got uh, what is it? Four races on the three races on the truck now. Uh yeah, three. I think back to back, or at least these first two, then a week off, and then off to the USA and Canada. But yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the season and looking forward to having some more fun out there. This this your sort of track? Um. I think it could be like fast and flat out. I was uh, doing really well here last year before I had the massive oh, yeah. stack down the bottom. So, yeah, I'm hoping I can not do that again and get down. Well, you'll, down you'll be happy to see that that bridge is not existing in the track now. Yeah, the bridge is gone. I yeah. think there's a nice finish now, so I'm I'm happy with that. And yeah, I'm excited for this week. All right, let's go, Rim Dog. You did you grow up doing a lot of French cups? Yeah, yeah, I did, but for some reason it. Well, I never did well at the French Cup, so I like got smashed by like a minute. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was so bad, so yeah. probably explains a lot, yeah. But they normally have flat out fast tracks. Yeah, they do, yeah. but back when I was racing, they, I can't really remember, but I know that I got smoked, so that's, yeah. <laughs> probably probably uh, motivated you to keep improving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and now here you are, so it's not so bad. <laughs> no. Sometimes you need to get smoked, I think. Oh, for yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wake, wakes you yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Fired up for this weekend? Yeah, definitely. Like I felt like I'd finally got to where I wanted to be in Fort William, and obviously that big crash set me back a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just all part of the process, and I'm still still climbing up. So. Yeah. And all good now from that crash? Uh, yeah, like the arm's still a bit fucked. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> and it's pretty painful when I ride. But yeah. I mean, I can ride, so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, good to see you back, and uh, yeah, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. How long were you out for, and uh, what was the deal? Yeah, I was out for eight months with a eight months. yeah with a head injury. Yeah, which what happened in December. Yeah, started December, and then I was getting good, and then I had a car accident, and then Shit. it hit my head again. So yeah, now I'm feeling a lot better. Well, you <laughs> were the nice. driver? Yeah, but I was in a stationary car oh. with the handbrake on. <laughs> yeah, car. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't Shit. ideal. <laughs> you got the raw end of the stick then. You're right, I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But now you're back and you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm feeling good and really looking forward to riding. Like yeah. it's so exciting. Like this morning I woke up with like butterflies Ooh, in my stomach. Go, I was like, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, I'm excited to even walk the track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just nice. I'm looking forward to it, when. Yeah, good to be see you back at a World yeah, Cup anyway. It. It's yeah. been a while. It's been a while. When right. was the last one? Uh, Valdesol. Valdesol last, last year. Shit. Yeah. So good to see you back and uh, healthy, mate. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. All right, Eleonora, fresh off the European Championship. You've got a new jersey this week. You've got to be happy. 
Oh yes, I'm, I'm really happy. And uh, you're coming back, still building up, but uh, you got to be happy to get the win there at the uh, European Champs. Oh yes, uh, it was the third race of the season and uh, yeah. yeah, it was really good and I'm happy to wear in the jersey. <laughs> Starting to feel good on the, on the bike then after injury? Oh yes, and then uh, right now I'm having so much fun riding my yeah. bike, so <laughs> this is really good. That's the main thing? Yes. And uh, the track here in Andorra, you like it? Yes, I like when it's loose and dusty so and fast, so I like it. Yeah. Last week at the European Champ Championship yeah, was almost same. the same, yeah. so a good training, we'll see. <laughs> All right, well, good luck this weekend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. It's a track for you. I reckon it's a track for me. I had a huge in practice last year on the first day, which kind of slowed, slowed me down for the week, but otherwise, dude, I love this place. Yeah. And there'll be a few Ferraris in uh, some Andorran garages, yeah, I'd imagine. I reckon there's a few Ferraris kicking about, mate. So I have my Ferrari back on track this week. The yellow bike is allowed to stay for another week or two. So Oh, really? Yeah, man. So we'll be on the yellow yellow steed. And uh, you, you like the yellow one? Yeah, the, I like the yellow the one. It, it goes with my 1991 Testarossa at home. So. Yeah. <laughs> What's, what would be the next choice of a Ferrari? If you, you've got the 91 Testarossa, what would you choose after that? Man, I would love an F40, but it's a bit out of my price range right now. The, the million quid is a bit out of my price range. So uh, one day. A few race wins. Yeah, a few race, more than a few race wins with this prize money, mate. <laughs> <laughs> F41 day. So prize money needs to improve? Prize money needs to improve. It's tragic. Tragic, yeah. Tragic, I tell you. Yeah. All right. And there, there's a few things to improve, I mentioned. Mate, I, <laughs> more than a few things, eh? We're having fun riding our bikes, but... Well, we're doing what we enjoy. That's yeah. the main thing, but yeah, we could improve things. We could improve things. Stop right. getting ripped off in the meantime. All right. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> mate. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, mate. You too. Cheers. Cheers. It's like weird because the tracks that are so specifically like where they're so specifically fast, the most important thing is braking. Yeah, yeah. So that's something that this week is going to be important because you look at all the corners that you're coming into, you're going so fast, and if your braking's not right, you're just time going, yeah, going behind yeah. you. So, yeah. So you're focused on your braking. You're thinking about that quite often. Uh, I think not thinking about it, but definitely something that i've worked on in my riding off season so when i come here it's like how do you how do you work on that you've got like breaking point like when you walk yeah, the track you're like yeah. oh we'll break there and for that bit yeah a little bit it's it's also changes with speed so it's like being able to gauge how you're going to break depending on how fast you're riding yeah. so if you're riding slow you're breaking later but if you're yeah. riding fast i think your breaking part the breaking point is earlier and harder so that you're coming into corners and you're not actually breaking through them because here like i said it's so fast it's like if you break early and you break hard and you get into the corner and you don't have to break you're going to carry so much speed through the next section yeah. and you can see that through a lot of these i mean it's steep and it's fast but that's still such an important part of the the track that like you're breaking higher up is going to affect your breaking lower down especially through a lot of the turns so i think that here just being aware of that is is good angel 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 Ang hell. <laughs> kind of. Eight, uh, with an H. But not like hell. Like G, G. Ang G. Ang hell. Kind of. Still not right. <laughs> not, not, it's not right. actually really hard. For, for a, a name that's a simple spelling, it's very hard. Yeah. It's quite a fast track, but it's good to see they've slowed it down a little bit. You think it's good when they slow it down like this? Well, some of them are pretty random corners. Yeah, I feel like it's sketchy when they slow it down because it's from a super fast... Entry, yeah, yeah to, a to tight, tight things, yeah. and you're like, yeah, it's actually sketchier. I feel personally. Maybe, but I like more corners. Yeah, you're enduro guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I don't do enduro anymore. I've retired from enduro. Did you? Yeah. Did you announce that? No, no, I don't like the big retirement announcements because uh, then you, you well, come the next year with I'm coming back to racing. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That's everybody does it anyways. Yeah. I'm retiring uh, the year after. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. I feel like I'll do a comeback. I feel like Greg might do this next really? year. Or this year. Like, oh, ah, maybe I retire? stop. And then surprise, he's coming back next year. <laughs> first, race 48. He, first race he wins, you know. <laughs> like, he come out, yeah. he's training in the winter and, like, gnarly. And then, yeah, like, in the cave for, like, six months. <laughs> he's locked in a cave on a wind trainer. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Looking serious on track walk today. Uh, what's the story? I mean, I feel like I only look serious because I've got a ski pole, but... Well, you've just gone for the European look, then. Yeah, I thought well, I'd fit serious. in. serious. The story is, a bit of practice this week. See yep. how it goes, yeah, I just wanted to get on the bike, yeah. get back between the tapes, so thought why not, you know. And uh, if practice goes well, then start qualifying, or is that too early to call? Nah, I'm just practicing. Just practicing? Just need a bit of time on the bike, I'm not quite up to speed yet for the race action, can't keep up with you boys yet, so. <laughs> I don't know about that. Nah, not ready, but it looks fun to ride, so yep. it looks pretty wild, choppy, <laughs> rough, it's going to be cool, I think, so I thought, yeah, why not? Done it again? Yeah, did it. You, you're back? And uh, you still got a, a brace on. What's the story? Yeah, just have it on to the 
doctor said I won't do anything stupid, but yeah, about four, four and a half weeks ago, did the old scaphoid, yeah. little, little fracture after hard line. So trying to keep it secret because I thought I was gonna heal a lot quicker than I actually was. Yeah. So I'm saying nothing, but yeah, back this week riding and. Andorra, so yeah. feeling. Do you ride with that on? Nah, I got one of the twisty yokes. Oh, this yeah. is just so I don't, yeah. might as well keep it, give it every little bit of a chance, but nah, yeah. she's still a bit sore, but. But well, you're sending it on? Yeah, she should be grand. Still a little bit fractured, so just need to be a bit, bit careful, but I mean. <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful but. Not quite much careful in World Cup downhill racing these days. Yeah, I think I didn't really have a choice. Can't really miss a race. Well, I didn't want to miss a race, so regardless, I was going to be racing, so best case scenario, though, we're, we're back on it. Track's looking fucking mean, though. Yeah. She should be a bit swinging off the back. Swing and off the swinging off the back <laughs> and just avoiding them trees. Yeah. Tucking the whole elbow down. Yeah, yeah. But, nah, should be sweet. So, Charlie, it's already gone to his head. He's just yeah, left he's, you on the track. He's not talking to me anymore. He eats my food, drinks my drink, everything. Really? Yeah. Shit. Well, in that rainbow jersey, they say it changes things sometimes. It does, definitely. <laughs> nah, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that people are, like think it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking <laughs> best, best guy ever. Yeah, yes. I'm well, keen to ride yeah, it. Just you actually like, go fast on this stuff anyway, but yeah. but you don't like it. Yeah, that's it. You like turning corners. Yeah. I think Leo Gang was actually a really fast track this year, like yeah. in general. Yeah. And I did well, so maybe I'm good in it, but I don't like it. I don't know. Yeah. You just like some Yeah, more I like tech. some tech. Yeah. It's like endo turns. Yeah. <laughs> Stoppies. I don't know. Well, at yeah. least you got a retirement plan in the yeah, Enduro Series then. Yeah. 20 years or something, maybe. <laughs> 45 years old. Uh, yeah, Andy Cole moving to Enduro. Can't, can't get it onto the bike nearly. <laughs> nah, <should be> good. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Kind of. What what uh, part of the sport do you enjoy more? Like World Cup downhill racing or sending jumps and doing crazy tricks? I don't know anymore. You don't know? I don't know. I, I like both, but the when, racing's when getting stressful, man. Like yeah. the, with the two, with the semis and the f finals, it's just, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to fall out of love with it, I think. Really? I like jumping my bike more yeah. than racing it, but... I'm going to try my hardest. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But when World Cup down and goes well, it's really enjoyable. Oh, it's but really, yeah. but <laughs> for it to go well, yep. yeah. there's so much behind the scenes. There's a lot what needs to align for it to go well. Yeah. So, yeah. Why yeah, not? I think what well, I feel like the semi is an unnecessary thing. Yeah, for sure. It's like it's basically a race run and you get 31st and you don't even make finals. It's fucking yeah. it's dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> it really is it's dog yeah, shit. Yeah. But... but Anyway, and then you miss riders like yourself, which would draw a crowd at here and uh, do yeah, something crazy. I think, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, eh? Yeah. Downhill might be dead. <laughs> nah, I can't say that. But I don't no, know. I, I don't think it'll I think it's just gonna become very niche. You know, yeah. like it's gonna be thirty Mobile guys. GP. Yeah, like. Yeah. It's not gonna be something you do anymore. You know, you just watch and it. And we've got Adam Braden. He made. All the semis, all, all the semis, and he doesn't get any points to even be able to start here. That's what basically started pissing me off when I saw that the other day. I was just, I'm over it. Like, yeah. why should someone who's made semi every go yeah. not have enough points to race a World Cup? It yeah. just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't no. add up at all. Yeah, and everyone would come, like a lot of people would come to watch Adam Wright because he's yeah, like he's a fan favourite, yeah, mad yeah. dog, yeah. and um, just a good guy. Exactly. And he's been in the World Cup forever, and he's been qualifying at the races this year, and he can't even start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. They need to. You need, guys need to sort your shit out. Someone, big time. <laughs> someone is uh, making some weird decisions. Yeah, yeah. Sort it out. Yeah. Sort it out. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How are you feeling about the race? Uh, pretty confident. Yeah. yeah pretty confident. You are gonna send it? Uh, I send it hard. Yeah. Really hard. Yeah. And uh, who's gonna be your toughest competitor? Uh, Tom Pickock, I think. Oh, in the downhill. Uh, in downhill. Yeah. Uh, Louis Brunny. Oh, French. Louis Brunny. French right. guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Thanks, good Downhill luck. Downhill and uh, cross country, good luck. Thanks, good luck. On the road bike. The fresh kit in the car park, looking good. Yeah, thank you. Just uh, snagging some pics of the, the new rig, new kit, new helmet, new goggles, new shoes, everything. And it's a, good. a throwback to the OG Santa Cruz. Yeah, Almost, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Pretty I'm similar to some that Steve might have ridden. Yeah, yeah, they went for like kind of like a carbon fibery look here, but yeah. with the red and white colors. So yeah. this was supposed to be my world's bike, but I didn't go, so it's still uh, still brand new. Well, nice to have a nice fresh bike. Yeah, exactly. I'm not complaining. Yeah. You frothing the new bike, frother? Proper, dude. It's unreal, bro. Yeah. It's so unreal. It's clean. It's like pretty much it's full brand new. Yeah. And like it's quiet. I've never had a quiet bike. What's your favorite thing? The quietness. Quietness. Yeah. It's literally just that you literally can't hear anything apart from the hub, which is freaking gangster. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a good hub too, isn't it? It's so sick. Yeah. It's, 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 oh, it's sick. Have a wee listen, have a wee listen. Oh, look at that. Okay. Look at that. So skarks. Skarks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, how are you, how you feeling having a bit of support from the team this week? It's literally the craziest thing ever. Like, yesterday we went out for dinner and I couldn't believe we were going out for dinner. Yeah. And I was like, tossing up whether I get a pizza or a steak. And Snow's just like, bro, just get both. I'm like, nah, there ain't no way. There's no way. Yeah. Anyway, he ended up getting both. And I was so full after the pizza, but I was like, I've got both. I'm, I've got to eat the steak now. Force the steak down my gob. <laughs> Man, I was so full. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I was dying. Just had a big food coma and went straight to bed in the apartment. Oh, it was so sick. Loving it, loving Literally. it. Literally. And pits and having a mechanic, bro, it's, it's oh, it's, I can't even describe it. It's so cool. Yeah. It's the sickest thing in the world. You fired up for the weekend then? Yes, I'm freaking revving, bro. Three o'clock, my practice start can't come any quicker. Oh, let's go, Froffer. Come on. Let's go. Mr. Joshy Froffer himself. Yep, that's me. The most stoked man in mountain biking. Well, that wraps up everything from uh, track walk day here in Andorra. It's going to be a fast one on Saturday, so we'll see what goes down. And uh, over and out from the Win TV. Cheers, mate.